Okay, let's hope this week has more substance to it. Because the last one was really, really lacking. What class are you planning to take this week, Akemi? Uh, I don't know. Why? Well, there's an exam on Friday and we need to prepare, so I thought maybe we could go to class together. Okay. What should I do this week? What classes is she in? Uh, I think she's in blue. I'm try to level up black a little bit. And then I'm gonna try and get more red. Yay! I'm over 60! Give me a spell! Give me a spell! Interrupts the spell being cast to reflect it onto its caster. Cool! I don't have any, like, rival wizards or witches, though, so why are you giving me combat spells to use on witches? Is there some boss fight that I'm just not aware of coming up? Lil and I are walking back to our room. Do you have a best friend that you had to leave behind to come to this school? Not really. I mean, I had friends, but nobody at the best friends forever level. It was those years after the choice, knowing I was going to leave and come here, I think people, I think they kept me from getting too close to people. What about you? No. It's been a while since I really had a best friend. When I was 13, my best friend was a girl named Greer. What a stupid name! We used to make up all kinds of stories together about princesses and dragons and dungeons and her heroes. But all of a sudden, she moved away. She told me her family was moving, but she just said it offhandedly. Just in passing one day, so I thought they were going to that they were going to Hawaii. It was a joke. I mean, everyone wants to go to Hawaii. So I said it was fine, she never mentioned it again, and then when school started in the fall, Greer was gone. I always wondered if maybe she'd turn out to be a witch too, and that I'd see her again, but she's not here. She could be one of the other schools. Does Hawaii have their own school, or do they go to California? It would be one of the, it would be a one in a million chance, I don't think it's likely. So no use in worrying about things that were lost a long time ago, this is our world now. Try and give her hand a squeeze. That's the spirit, to the future! Is Ellen my best friend now? Maybe. Aww! Spell? The spell object. Removes an enchantment from target object. No, go away, cat. Shoot. Run into Logan in the halls. Did you care to join us for another game of bingo? I made some changes to the rules. So having a single jackpot, we'll split the money into five games, giving everyone more of a chance to win. Well, what the hell? What do I have to lose? Sure, alright. Follow me, then. Once again, a group gathers in Falcon Hall. The pair entrance fee and the twins split them into separate piles where we chat alert. Chatter about our daily lives in the upcoming exam. Then it's time for the numbers. First game, I didn't win. Second game, I didn't win. Third game, I won! Fourth game, I didn't win. Fifth game, I didn't win. So that's that. So as I mentioned before, gambling is random. It's gambling for a reason. But you know what? I still came out of with more money than I went in with. I'm okay with this. Do you know where Virginia's got to? Couldn't find her at dinner. No, I haven't seen her all day. We return to our room. Hey, are you still in bed? Virginia? She's lying in bed, her eyes half open, her cheeks flush red. Something is very wrong. Ellen takes one step into the room, then whirls to face me, her face turn. Go get a professor, now! Right! Run through the hall so I find someone in charge. Yeah, of course, like one of the only two teachers that works here. Of course I found her. Kenny, what's the matter? It's Virginia, she's really sick. Oh dear, I'll be right there. She to our room and takes Virginia away. Morning arrives, but Virginia still hasn't come back. Yay! Points! No new spell, though. I report to my room for the schedule. Oh, for fuck's sakes, I forgot there was an exam! Ellen told me at the start of the week and I already forgot. In order to leave this dungeon, you must find the key. Only that key will open the doors. Think before you act. With these words, the voice fades away. Uh, well, when in doubt, let's go forward. Forward. Whoa! There's a madness in this room. Uh. Okay. I'm going to examine it. Menace smirks tauntingly at you. This is exact. They're exactly what they seem to be. Don't read this message as inscribed upon one of them. What happens if I. Ah! Stop doing that! Go! Go away! I'm looking for the message! Oh! Jesus! Wait. No, okay, we're in a single corridor. This is impossible. He couldn't, like, I, I get he's like a genie or a jinn, like a djinn, 
But there's no way he could be getting around me this easily with walls on either side of us. This is like a magically sealed labyrinth. They wouldn't let me teleport out. They wouldn't let him teleport in. Maybe he's like, like an illusion or something. Do I have any spells for that? Sentient goats. Do we, don't I have like true sight or something? I thought I did, but maybe I'm just completely crazy. Um... Oh, there it is, true sight. Aha! You're a fucking illusion, you stupid genie. Cool. Stupid fucking genie. Alright, well, that was it was a bust. There's a chest. I'm going to examine it. It's a heavy chest bound with thick bands of dull gray metal. Um, it feels like it might be a trap, so... Wait, what? Am I standing? How did they get on this side? Is the chest an illusion? I'm just gonna walk past it. It's not following me, so... There's the door. Thick wooden... Thick wooden doors with heavy metal handles. Doors are sealed shut. Okay. Not going that way. Which is probably the way out. So what's down here? Okay, what, what gives? What's with the rock? A round ball of stone. Cool. Uh, ignore. I'm starting to wonder if that genie was not, in fact, in front of me. And I was just, like, rotating around him. Okay, well, that thing might be trapped. Because it's the first chest I've encountered in this entire game. Um... Wait, wait, wait. If that door's locked... Maybe I can skip the chest entirely. Uh, open. Open! Damn you, door! You wait. I didn't, I didn't mean to wait. Alright. I, I, I feel like this is going to be trapped. Oh, you know what? Whatever. Open. Open the fucking chest. Ow! I think I'm dead. <laughs> I'm minus 11 health. I think I'm dead. And then everything goes black. Ah, fuck. I failed. When I open my eyes again, I'm back in the classrooms. Well, that was foolhardy. Well, I. you know what? I thought it was trapped. I called it out. I used the spell to open the chest as opposed to just blatantly opening the chest, which I thought was going to trigger it. Eat me. What happened? You tempted to blow yourself up. That'll be ten demerits, Miss Cooper. And I am never going to be at zero again. Future, examine the bait more carefully before you take it. Dismissed. Sigh. Well, I'm three for five in passing my exams. But sadly, my, my uh, track record is getting worse as I go on. Ellen and I have completed our exams and returned to our room when we hear a knock on the door. It's William. Wow, I haven't seen him in a while either. Hey, kids. I heard you asking about V. Yeah, is she alright? She'll be fine. Look. Can I come in? Sure. Rush back into the room and look quickly around to be sure of everything embarrassing is out of sight. Ellen's part of, Ellen's part of the room, of course, is immaculate already. William ducks his head and slowly as he walks through the room, even though I'm sure our ceilings are the same height as the ones in the senior room. He's keeping an eye out for one of Donald's traps. Thanks. Just figured... There's things V would rather uh, would rather not everyone hear about. There are things you should know. Like what? My sister was born premature, and as a baby she had a lot of problems. I don't remember much, I was so young, but I remember at least once being rushed to the hospital in the middle of the night. Hospital? But you guys have magic. Couldn't you just heal her? I don't know much about babies, but apparently it's not that easy. Babies aren't people yet, and the same spells don't work on them. I'm pretty sure babies are people. Like, I, I, I'm actually, like, 95% sure babies are considered people. So is there something wrong with Virginia? Don't let her hear you say that. Most of the time she's fine, just like anyone else, but certain kind of bugs she's more likely to catch, and when she does, they're more likely to be serious. So keep an eye on her, okay? Especially if there's a cold going around. What do we need to do for her now? Nothing. A little green magic and some rest should be back to normal. Really, it's not such a big deal. V's not exactly delicate. Thanks for letting us know. Oh, poor Virginia. Ellen gets up early on Saturday morning to deliver the mail, but this time when the door opens, it's not Ellen who walks in. 
Rise and shine! Hey, how are you feeling? I'm fine. Here, I ran into Ellen in the hall. She hands me my allowance envelope. Can't stay. I've got to go to detention because I missed the exam yesterday. That seems unfair. You were legitimately sick. You had a professor check you out. You have an explained medical history. And yet, because you missed the exam, they give you detention anyway. That's... I, I, I honestly want to call bullshit on that one. Alright, see you later. What should I do today? <sighs> Too broke. We'll study. Uh, I studied with Minnie because last time it actually worked. Yay! So black must not be my lowest spell anymore. Alright, diary. BFF. Well, I talked about best friends of our past. Bingo night. I want $8. Virginia Falls, three. Oh, ill. That says ill. I thought that was like Roman numeral three. Something's wrong with Virginia. She was lying in bed with a fever and Professor Potsdam came and took her away. I don't know what's going on. I accidentally blew myself up in the exam, so I ended up with demerits. William says Virginia was born a preemie and has some health problems. So that's why she got sick yesterday. Uh, did I learn any new spells this time? I don't think I did. And if I fucking did, it wasn't anything that would help me with my goddamn exam. So who cares? Anyway. Next week's coming up, stay tuned. So if you like this video, and if you got this far in it, you must have liked something, why don't you support the rest of the series by clicking on that subscribe button. You can also check out the Facebook or Twitter pages I've got going for future updates and more support. Don't forget to check out the Let's Play Sanctuary forums for lots more Let's Players and a lot of good content and a great community. Thanks for watching.